Hey guys, welcome back to Apartment 3 Podcast. Today, we have a special guest. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, though, Larry Dove, the one and only. What's happening? How y'all doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. Just take, catching these flights. <laughs> nah. Yeah, so um, just tell the people that don't know you just a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Larry Dove, born and raised in North Las Vegas, Nevada. Recently just got admitted to Clark and Lennon University. Okay. Studying mass media arts. Um, Man, just out here trying to get it in, you know, um, music is just my passion. Like, I've been, like, it's just in me. I was born to do this, so I got to conquer. You know, I got to prosper all this. I got two little sisters, London and Lyric. I love y'all. <laughs> um, my pops right here with me. Um, my mom at home, you know. So, yeah, I was born in December 1st. I just had a birthday, too. So, happy belated yeah, to me. Happy also. Birthday. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, that's really what's... So, uh, congrats on getting admitted. Appreciate you. Yeah. So, uh, music, uh, when did that start for you? When did you start getting into that? I started making music when I was 16. I made my first song, studio song, at 16. But I was, like, r rapping a little bit. You know, the little lunch table freestyles, doing that at middle school. So, you know. But I really started getting into music and, you know, performing, you know, going to the studio every weekend around 16, 17, 10th grade year. That's when I really found a passion for it. That's when I really wanted to... Gonna start my quest on trying to make it big and branch out to other things. Nice. And then, do you just do uh, music or do you producing too? Um, I can't say I produce, but I wouldn't be like really valid with that because yeah. I, you know, just make a little beat or whatever. But I engineer, I don't engineer, but I make some of my music. Like I know how to work Pro Tools. I know how to you know tweak this and to make it sound what I want to hear. So. But music, like rapping, that's just my, that's just like my number one. I want, I don't think I'm going to ever try to go into like the producing side. You don't never, think, I never yeah. know though, you know, it's just yeah. learning experience. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, if it happens, it happens, but it's a triple threat. If it yeah, go that exactly, way, yeah, yeah. it's going to be bad. If I don't, if I don't let me learn how to produce. Yeah. <laughs> now let me learn how to make no beats. Be a lot. Yeah. A lot more on your plate. Huh? Yeah, for real, for real. So did you have, uh, growing up, any influences music wise? What kind of music was played at the house? Music played at the house, a lot of R and B, a lot of R and B. But on my a lot of rap too. I can I could say that too. My musical influences is like Ice Cube, Dr. Dre. Um, I just read a book about Ice Cube too, by the way. But like up to date, I will say R J. I influence myself a lot too. I yeah, look back definitely. on my old stuff, like dang, I really got much better. So that influences me too. Like okay, let me see my progression. Who um Y G? Who else? Roddy Rich today. A lot of it's a lot. It's so, what do you think lot. of Roddy Rich's new album? No, that album was crazy. Yeah, that album was crazy. Do you have a favorite different. track off of it? Um, I want to say the intro, God's Eyes. Um, what's that one song he got the uh, the uh, oh, that's um, the box, the box, yeah. the box, the that's box. Like yeah, the box. Yeah, that song goes crazy. Yeah, the yeah. box, that song is crazy. It's a lot of, yeah, that song, the album goes crazy too. Yeah, he's. Pretty young too, yeah. right? Isn't he? Do you know he's like eighteen? 19? Nah, he's like 20, 21, 21, 22. Okay. Yeah, yeah, somewhere so, around I mean, there. It's still young to be out here. I mean, yeah. providing you right. got your income, being able to provide for your family. Yeah, so yeah. it's always good to see like younger, younger people doing it. For sure, for sure. Do you have any like favorite albums that came out this year? Mine, of yeah. course. Senior yeah. year <laughs> drop. Uh, it's called Senior Year on all platforms. You could go get that. Twelve songs based on my senior year. Executive produced by King Vey and my pops, of course. And um, favorite albums. RJ album just dropped. Fabulous album. I've been banging a lot too. Fabulous album slept on me. Who else? Young Boy album. Uh, Spitter P album. He's another Vegas artist. And uh, really tuned into more singles too. Like, what's a hot single out right now that got everybody popping? Uh, the Weeknd just dropped. Yeah, The Weeknd. I heard about that, too. Um, Lucci just dropped the album, too, actually. Mm -hmm. Lucci, Lucci album go crazy. It's a lot. Yeah. So you mentioned you said your dad helped, well, produce the Executive album, Executive produce, yeah. So, he's like the consult. Like, I I don't want this in there. Swiss this. You know, he was always the helping hand, the mm -hmm. ear I needed. Like, because he has a good ear for music. So if I know... If he don't like it, then I know, okay, it's my, you know, let me switch this up a little bit. And then, like, he know my age, so, of course, I need that older mentality on music, too. It's not always about, you know, what's young, you know. So, yeah, executive producer. Does he help, like, executive produce almost all your tracks, or? Yeah, well, since I've been rapping, yeah, most likely. Yeah. And then, so, 
Your name's Larry Dub. Yeah. Oh, your real name's Larry as well, right? Yes. And then the Dub's just does the that dub, stand for anything? I'm really it really stands for because I'm a I was born in the 20th century yeah. and the 20 is like another you know remix for Dub. My mm-hmm. last name starts with a W and yeah. W short is Dub. Um, 2000 born in 2000. And the first two numbers of 2000 is 20. And I'm a second version of my dad, the dub version, all that. So, yeah, it's a lot of meanness to it. Did you have any, like, previous names that you came up with? I was going to go with Lil Larry, but that was too common. Like, you see everybody, yeah. Lil, 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 Nah, I need to something like, oh, Larry Dub. That's going to branch out more. So, did you ever, like, pursue the little little Larry and you're like, nah, I'm going to... Early ages, yeah, yeah, but... You stuck with Larry Dub for the yeah, most part? Yeah, I stuck with Larry Dub. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it, too. Larry Dub, so, uh, one thing I want to ask you, if I can find it right here, uh... Who do you, who would you say had the biggest impact on your life and why? The biggest impact, my parents. Like they had a reason why I'm in college. Like it's a whole new experience. So for them to take that sacrifice when we having two little sisters as well, mm-hmm. it's like a lot. Like that's a big impact. Like not a lot of kids get that option. Not a lot of kids are blessed like that. So I'm just grateful for that opportunity to go to college. You know, definitely yeah, that's a like, good impact. So you just graduated high school this yeah. year. Nice, nice. Uh, um, May, May twenty fourth, I graduated. Yeah. So you're you're like eighteen. Nineteen. I just 19, turned nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, is there something most people may not know about you? Um, I feel like a lot of people know yeah. me. Like a lot of people, like it, the more they hang around me, they could tell. Mm-hmm. Like I'm very open. I'm very like I feel like I make a lot of people laugh. Like it ain't nothing I'm really hiding. I'm kind of shy at first, but like yeah, when I yeah, get to know yeah. you, it's like it's, it's just like I'm a whole vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have any other hobbies besides music? Um, hobbies besides I love rap battles. Rap battles. Rap battles. Is a, listen, I'm a big rap battle fan. I probably listen to rap battles more than I listen to music. Nice. X, so I'm a big rap battle fan. Do you it's have like any culture. Like, heroes in the rap battle? Um, not necessarily heroes, but I got some favorite rap battlers like Rum Nitty, Twerk, Av, Tay Rock, Hitman, Holla. Chess, it's a lot. It's a whole culture. Like, I don't. I wouldn't even say who my favorite battle is because mm-hmm. there's just so many different styles and the reason why I listen to it so much because you don't hear that on the radio and yeah, they yeah. break down words so different to where it's like, wow, how do you think of that? And you don't hear that on the radio. You don't hear that on YouTube. They don't get the notoriety. So they keep in real rap a lot to me. So that's why I really, you know, stay into that hobby. That's like a hobby to me. Yeah, you kind of touched on it, but what do you think? Like the biggest difference is between battle rap and just like a normal. Track. You can say anything. Well, you can say anything in both, but you're going to get criticized way more in battle rap because you really have to make sense. You can say something on the radio, and there, if it got a nice beat to to yeah. it, they just going to bob their head. Somebody might be like, "Wait, yeah, oh well, yeah, yeah." yeah you feel me? So it's just like the rap battle is just. That's... And then uh, we actually found out about you through Miles Low. So yeah, my boy. Yeah, so yeah, how, tell Lowe. us a little about how you met him and all that. Miles Low, he was my god brother's best friend growing up. Mm. And Miles Low was a rap battler too. Yeah, so yeah. I studied his rap battles rap battles when he was like 16, 17. I was like, yeah, that's dope. Now me and him got a song on my album. You could go check that out. It's called Forever. But yeah, shout out Miles Low. He paid away for a lot of a lot yeah. of these rappers out here too, believe it or not. One of the young gokes out here. Have you tried battle rapping yourself? I thought about it heavy, but I was like, no, nah, I like music, making music too much. It's like, I like performing. I'm a performer. I'm a freestyler. I'm a writer. I mean, I could write for battle rap too, but I thought about it, but I don't think I'm going to really pursue it like that. Yeah. I, I, I like performing too much. Yeah. For me personally, it's like, I don't understand how I like, I can't think that fast. Someone's going to come with <laughs> yeah. me with something. I'm going to be like, it's freeze up. I, yeah. yeah, yeah nah. I, damn, you won. Nah. <laughs> but I, as far as I know, they usually have kind of like, Two, three, four lines to go go to, right? Yeah. Do you you were born and raised in North Las Vegas, yes, right? Yes, sir. And I all three are. Nice, nice. So, how was it like growing up o- over here? Um. Well, I come from a well arranged family. You know, everybody's hard working. My family was close growing up. I never really seen like you know too many bad things. Like I can't really like I'm not gonna sit here and say I grew up in a struggle. My family made sure I was blessed. You know, yeah. go went to school, got good grades, and you know I got that in return. So I'll be sitting here lying saying I grew up. You seeing this? Nah, for sure. So yeah. let's say an opportunity came up in I guess you can say one of like the bigger cities: mm-hmm. L.A., Miami, New York, Atlanta, 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 Chicago. Yeah. If the opportunity was right, would you consider moving out there? Well, I'm already I already moved. 
Yeah, you're going to the to, to Atlanta. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. but, uh, another question, like a question for your question, you asking me like, what like I, musically? What I, yeah, yeah. So okay. Yeah, I was, yeah. I'll stay out there. I already plan on staying out there when after I graduate too. Mm-hmm. But what I'm not gonna do is drop out if I get signed. Let's let's yeah, get that's that a, that's straight. A good plan. That's, that's a good plan. Because yeah. a lot of people don't get that. The rap industry, they can knock you down like that. Mm-hmm. Anything, anything, everybody believe what they see on the internet. So how I know one day I'm not going to wake up and see some stuff that's not true. And then my whole rap career is turned. They can't take my degree away from me, though. Know, yeah, at the end exactly. Of the day. So it's like, I'm a, it's number one. They ask me, what's my plan B? I'm doing my plan A and my plan B at the same time. Just networking more, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I know, like, with sports, like athletes, NBA, the mm-hmm. one and done. So, mm-hmm. like. I can see why you would want to do it, but like you said, you might get an injury. Yeah, like see, you never know what's gonna you happen. Never know. And now there you go. And right. at least with you, you said you got your plan A and B. Yes, sir. If plan A doesn't work. You still got your plan B in school, which I think is good. A lot of people don't think about that. They don't. But it's, that's nothing. That's not my problem. That's their problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's their problem. So, so growing up in Vegas, do you ever find yourself out on like? The strip a lot or like the casino scene. Honestly, I know you're too young to gamble, but honestly, no. no. People when they think of Vegas, they think of you know the strip. You know, all uh, is it is, is do it get cold out there? Yeah, it get cold. <laughs> you feel me? Like that's people's favorite question: Do it get cold in Vegas? But no, I really you know, Vegas is so small where I'm from. Like the north is like everybody know everybody. So I'm not finna just go to the strip because like and plus I'm not even old enough yet. Yeah. So. I didn't really hit the strip too much, but probably when I'm 21 and popping, you know, I'm going to hit the strip, you know, just my city, so I got to take advantage. Plan to celebrate your 21st Yeah, uh-huh. Of course, right? Yes, sir. You have to. All right, so let's go take it back. Let's say time travel five years back. Mm-hmm. What's some advice you'd give your younger self? Don't feed into everything you see, because I know when I was first starting off, you know, I got the love, but then I got the hate, too, yeah. but when I seen the hate, I'm like... Da, 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 y'all not finna say this about me This now I just had to learn To ignore stuff I had to learn to Stop expecting so much Yeah Because I was like One of the like I'm still is I feel like I'm one of the most Popping artists in my city I'm not gonna say I am Because You know But Doom That like That target on my back Is gonna have people Talk about me You know In negative ways But Younger self just ignore it, you feel me? Just keep pushing because you never know where you're going to end up. And if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. That's the motto. Definitely, definitely. So, say you make your first meal. Mm-hmm. What's the first thing you're buying? Mm. I'm paying my tuition. Still playing. Yeah. Yeah. See, I I like your mindset. A yeah. lot of people don't have that mindset where they're going to say, Yeah, I'm, I'm paying gonna, my tuition to finish in school. Yep, exactly. Where some people are, I'm going to go buy a car, I'm going to go buy this. Yeah, that, all that's going to come, you feel me? Yeah, but. exactly. When she, I mean, I forgot who said it, but they said, um, what's harder, the first million or the last million? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, once you get one, you're going to get two, three, four. So, yeah. it's going to come like you said. Right. So, did you do? have you done any like live venues yet? Live venues? Like, yeah. what do you mean? Like, have, I, you, have you done like... A show. Oh, I did BET. BET? I did okay. BET okay. last okay. year. Um, I did Fresh Empire. At my school, I did our talent show. Mm-hmm. I did a charity event called St. Drew. I did a couple clubs out there so far. It's all about networking out there. Out here, I did Fresh Empire. Um, Little 16 birthday bashes, you know, stuff like that. But I'm waiting on my big, you yeah. know, like opening up for so-and-so. Here comes Larry Doug. You yeah, know, I'm waiting on one definitely, of them. Definitely. Like, you know, holla at me if you need me. You know, I'll show yeah, exactly. any show. Mm-hmm. Ain't no stage fight this way. That's yeah. one thing about myself, though. I'm never a stage fight. I never. feel like when I get on stage, that's me. I might have a little anxiety about what if I mess up. But even that, like, I still, like, I still felt like I conquer on stage out of all my abilities as a rapper. I feel like performing is my best asset. Yeah, definitely. What's your favorite thing about performing? Crowd reaction. I go based off crowd reaction. I'm going to still do my stuff regardless, but if the crowd turning up with me, it just give a whole different feel to like, wow, like they know your lyrics. They know, you know, you could just, you know, swag it out. You're, yeah, you're able to match their energy. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think it was Cap Flogna where they brought out Drake. Yeah. And everybody was mm. booing him. No, that was Tyler the Creator. Well, That's yeah, and he brought out Drake, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And everybody was booing Drake because they thought it was going to be Frank Ocean. And it just blows my mind. It's like, how how are you guys just gonna boo somebody off the stage? Like it's just yeah, I don't know about it. It's just wild to me. So. I ain't got no input. Yeah, you know, you're good. I, just, I, mean, yeah. I hope I never get booed off yeah. stage. If I get booed off stage, they getting a freestyle on the way out. Yeah, exactly. Hear right. me? Feel me? <laughs> You'll have your they battle rap right there. Yeah, <laughs> on me. 
So we we had a tragic event happen last week, Rip Juice World. Uh, did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about it. What are your thoughts on that? The whole situation. R.P. to him. I didn't know. I didn't really listen to his music like that. Yeah, he was a big impact on our culture, though. Of mm-hmm. course, along with Extension. I don't mm-hmm. know if I say his name right. X-X. Yeah, Triple X. Yeah. yeah. So, R.P. to him. You know, bless his spirit. I can't really say too much. I really wasn't a fan. So. Yeah, definitely. So we're actually gonna take a quick break right about now. Mm-hmm. So, watch this ad, and we'll be right back. Yes, sir. All right, and we're back. Hopefully that ad wasn't too long for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, one thing I want to ask you, um, right now, a lot of good rappers in the game. What's your top five list? Larry Dub. Larry Dub. Larry Dub. Larry Dub. Larry Dub. I like that. Is, is that I like, like a... But, I, but let, me, uh, let me not be unbiased. Let me get yeah, my yeah. real top five. But honestly, I'm my favorite yeah. rapper. I'm my favorite. You know, I'm my biggest fan, my mm-hmm. biggest critic. I'm my only competition in my eyes. Like, let me say that now. I don't compete with nobody. I'm not going to compete with you. if you Because if I stop competing with myself, who are you going to compete with? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. But let me see. My top five rappers right now, I'm going to have to go. At this very moment, I'm going to say Fabulous. This no order. Fabulous, Roddy Rich, Young Boy. Um, dang. Yeah, I know it's Meek Mill, Mozzie, I say. RJ, my favorite rapper of all time. Now, let's get that. Okay. Did you like that Meek Mill Roddy Rich track that he had? Yeah, Good. it was dope. Yeah, that right. Yeah, that track was dope. So, kind of piggyback on that question, who would your dream collab be? My dream collab. It doesn't. I, have... I feel like a Drake stamp. You solidified oh, the yeah, industry. Yeah. Like Drake didn't put so many. That's my dream collab. But like Meek Mill too. Like any of them, any of the billboards. Do you have any like dream producer to work with? Um, I really want to work with. Zaytoven one time. I want to work with DJ Mustard one time because I grew up listening to a DJ Mustard a lot. I want to work with uh, who else? Cash Money AP. Yeah, he doing his stuff right now too. It's a lot of producers. I got to hear they tagged and know they remember they names. Yeah, so. yeah. You mentioned uh, DJ Mustard, and I was sleeping on him for a while. No, yeah, and for real. I started. I mean, just recently, like this last year, I kind of been opening my eyes to like the producing, the writing part of music, yeah. and it's. It's crazy what yeah. some people can do. No, nah, for real. If you realize, like, a lot of DJ Mustard songs be his songs, it'd be the features that yeah. would be so, like, they're really his records. And in the way the artists bring out the record, is just crazy. Because, like, y'all heard Ballin' by Roddy Ricch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, that song is, like, everywhere. When they hear, like, in Atlanta, they don't play West Coast music like that. So I'm in the club, like, chilling. They say, let's bring it to the West real quick. And the first thing they play is Ballin'. So I'm like, okay, they think this is West. Like, it's West Coast, but it's just, It's like, not West, West Coast. <laughs> no, nah, it is. It's just not, it's not, how do I say this? It's not really like the known West Coast music yet, I should say. Okay. It's more to it. It's a lot to it. So, um, do you have any future projects coming out soon? Um, Right now, future projects, I'm not, I just dropped the album, so I'm really yeah. just like laid back, really perfecting my craft right now definitely but next year i'm, I'm gonna have a project i'm gonna have some projects I, sure. I feel like next year is no it's all gas no breaks it's 2020 it's a new generation it's a new decade so we got to take over fast so speaking on the decade uh this decade's now wrapping up last mm-hmm. year right so who do you think what are like some of the biggest artists that had the most impact on this decade drake and let me not i'm gonna i'm gonna be so you know unbiased audit i'm gonna give everybody their credit because even though i don't listen to them a lot ex- Triple X, yeah, Uzi, Drake, um, Lil Snoop, R.P. to him. Um, who else? It's a lot of people, man. Mm-hmm. It's a decade. It's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a it's a hard question because like you look back and it's like you got take care. Oh, no, and then yeah, you, I could even say Lil Nas X because look what he oh, did yeah. with that one song. He like, merged the whole country. Yeah, and rapped for on real. Together. Like that's crazy. So that's like a big <laughs> impact on rap. Like this dude brought country rap to rap. Like. And who did that? So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think about that whole situation where like the billboards were trying to give him give him the spot on the top country, country records, even though like it was technically a country song? They slept on them. That's their yeah. fault. That's their fault. Bring it to hip hop then. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's really there. We can't really we can't really knock them because you know, I mean, if that's they if they don't define it as country music, then oh well. Yeah, bring it to us then. We'll, oh, take, we'll it. take that number yeah, one. We'll huh? Take it on me <laughs> for the culture one time. So you follow any sports? Um, football and basketball. Football. Yeah. So who's your who's your teams? Niners. Yes, Niners. sir. It'll be eleven and two. Yeah. 
Yeah, 11 and 2. And and then for, for the basketball side? I'm going to be real with you. I'm a bandwagon of basketball. Bandwagon? I'm a bandwagon. So who is it right now? The Lakers. The Lakers. Yeah. Okay. I'm a bandwagon. <laughs> Do you eventually, well, I guess you're going to Atlanta, but do you wish a team comes out to Vegas? Um, well, I mean, obviously, the really Raiders. Matter to me. No. But the Raiders coming, yeah, but I'm yeah. not going to change. Okay. Because, you know, I'm going to wear a jersey or two, go to a couple games with my dad. You feel me? You go to yeah. a tailgate or whatever. But uh, <laughs> I'm a Niner fan. Yeah. I'm born in it, sworn in it. So I know a now. lot of fans or just people in the Bay Area in yeah. general. It's like we're Oakland fans, and it's like now they're leaving, but we can't switch to – San Francisco, right? It's like we can't so see. It's like, they better make their mind yeah, up. They exactly. better do something. Hey, now they might, right? Yeah, Eleven and two. They, yeah, they, you know, already know that the bandwagon is gonna come out just like how I come out in basketball. But I was forever locked in a 49ers fan since mm-hmm. you know when I was born. My daddy been a Niners fan before. You know, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Before, <laughs> but, you know, yeah, you're good. Yeah. So you wanna go ahead and get that yeah. freestyle going? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this beat ready. All right, just let me know. Levels, sir. Hey, dog. Y'all already know who it is. Larry Dub in the building, always in the building, forever in the building. Just got off a plane, you know, straight to the interviews, all that. Let's get it popping up. Hey. Woo. Hey. Check. Y'all ain't really got an option. Y'all ask me to spit, I'm the one to get it poppin'. Some like Kodak Black, it's no flocking. Just watch when that photo snap, it's no stopping. Rockin'. I'm from Vegas, so I'm used to the heat. Let my partner fall off, I'll put him back on his feet. Back on the streets, no, I'm back on the beat. And you better stay vegan, don't come back to the beef. Hey, check, let's bring it back to the West. Let him run the bone, bro, he getting five to the chest. Two to the neck, no, why he aiming to squeeze? And I said five to his chest. That's a pledge of allegiance, I'm fighting my demons. Why, cause I'm staying on on the lower side, hey, my name Larry Dub, like Bo Foss. I come around like who up, man? Head pointing the white, that's the Ku Klux Klan. Hey, hey, uh, let's turn it up a notch. Hey, uh, let's turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, let's turn it up a notch. Hey, one, two, let's, hey. Look, let's turn it up a notch. My partner got a hundred shots. Think Patrick, I put a star on under rock. A thick brown skin, I'm calling her my butterscotch. I got the whole back secure like a hundred locks. I'm locked in, everybody else hella fraud. Crash your whip, bounce back, and get a better car. I run it up, and my team got hella yards. I put some numbers on the square like a credit card. Let it fall, can't nobody stop my flaw. A new chain on my neck that I might just buy. Let my ex in the past, and she might just cry. Everybody move the same, the cha cha slide. Ask them. Why, huh? What they all bragging for? Hey, I stay up on my cheese like a casserole. Hey, Larry beat his head like a whack a mole. Hey, Larry Dub in the building bragging, ho. Hey, hey dog. That was crazy, dude. Hey, dog. Let's oh, you brought the heat. I appreciate that. I yes, like that sir. switch up where he said, Let me bring the West Coast and switch <laughs> yeah. it up. That was. Yeah, you had a lot of clever and witty lines in that. No, let's keep going. Let's have fun. Yeah. Let's have fun. Yeah. Go. Put on the baby shook. Let's, right. let's turn this let's up. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. Levels were good, right? Yes, sir. Fresh All off right. the plane. Let's get it. Hey, though. Hey. Check. Hey. Pull up at the radio station. Ask a nigga why he hating. Hey. Slim Thick, she Jamaican. Uh, run a lap. I be pacing. Hey. Why he think he the topic? Uh, not a dollar in his pocket. Uh, I got the drip faucet. Uh, my whole team bosses. Uh, if the cost right, then the boss right. I don't think that they hearing it. Far, far. Brown eyes. Her favorite word. Period. Larry Dub. Serious. Las Vegas. Delirious. I'm leaving niggas confused. Hold on. I'm leaving niggas so curious. Hey. Got the flow. I got to Get the check. And when I get the check, I got to Get the rest. I got one foe. Throw it like I'm Brett. Face with the beat. I'm a clean the mess. I just got turned on. Uh huh. Snapchat on. Uh huh. Picked the raw. Fell off like I cracked my phone. But hold on. Let me get to the topic, ayy. I'm the only nigga that's poppin', ayy. Niggas drippin' like a faucet, ayy. Let me get it, let me split it. Coming on, I'ma get it, I'ma get it. You feelin' froggy? Gonna rib it, gonna rib it, ayy. Let me get to the tune, ayy. Sweepin' niggas, I'ma call me your broom, ayy. New car in that shit go vroom, ayy. Get the sweeper, we ain't talking about brooms. Okay, I'm back at it like a crack at it, ayy. Off the top, nigga, on the block, nigga, with the ops, nigga, nah. Y'all the cops, nigga, I'ma. You feel me? I just get him on his own, man. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, man, I should be I'm having fun. Lie. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the best freestyle we've ever had. Hey, I, let's keep going, man. Y'all got time? I got yeah, time. of course. Yeah, we can do this going. all night. I like how, how do I say it? Like, a lot of beats can carry the yeah. carry the artist, and you you just hop on these beats, and you just all ride right, with let's it. let's keep going. Just click, click any beat you like. 
Woo! This beat's so nice. For me, it is. Ah. Uh, hey, look. Hey, man. Hey, apartment three. Shout out to bringing me. You already know how we going. Hey, look. Beg is gonna always be home. But shit, it's time to move on. It's time to take over the throne. It's time to get in my zone. Can't nobody match my hunger? They can match my ambition. Ain't no time for no lacking. I gotta pay my tuition. If they ain't seeing how I'm contemplating, then peep how I'm really contemplating. Right in the state of the mind. Two times now I'm kinda waiting. One month, one sacrifice. Two months now I'm twice as nice. Three months now I'm throwing the dice. Four fingers better pay the price. Ain't no funny shit. I can't be on no bummy shit. Cause a nigga really hungry. Cause a nigga really hungry, bitch. Up the top, I be going on. Going off, but I'ma go cameras. Lights, camera action, huh? Niggas chippin', we gon' throw them hammers. We gon' throw them hammers. We gon' throw the blummer. Hey, I need me some shit with some bop in it. Niggas be chippin', I'm coppin' them clippers. Them niggas be chippin' the ox in it. Hey, don't get plugged. Don't get plugged. Shit, what is the ox in it? I'ma get to it. I'ma get to it. Nah, nigga, with the cops in it. Hey, North Las Vegas, we here. Let's turn it up one more time. One more time for the nickels. Uh, turn a nickel to a dime. Hey, turn the dime into 50. Hey, blow his back out. Ricky, hey, he get shiggy, shiggy. Hey, tripping with me. Hey, oh, no, let's get it. You know, I'm just having fun, man. You know, this is part of freestyle. Man. Great, man. And all. I'm just having fun, man. Let's get it. No, but I appreciate y'all for making me yeah, on the show, man. It's real man. dope, man. Shit, you gave us more than expected. We were expecting hey, one. You gave us I just three. I just be having fun, man. This is really my this is my passion. You yeah. feel me? So like, I take this to to the court. Yeah, you man. never know when you gonna win. So I appreciate y'all for making me out here. You know, you know, tag me on all this. Of course, yeah. Yes, so sir. shout out where people can find you. Hey, the real Larry Dove, the one and only on everything: Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon. If you want to order me, you can order me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah, follow me on Instagram now at the real Larry Dub, Twitter, the Larry Dub, Inst- yeah, all that. Just look up, Google me. Just all you gotta do is Google me. You gonna find everything, all the music. Seeing you out now, I got some new projects. Measy was happening, Vay was happening. I'm back in Vegas. Shout out Maslo. You already know how we going. Shout out Spitter P. Shout out my pop. Shout out my mama. Shout out Clark and Lennon University. We here. All right, man. Here. Appreciate you. Appreciate hey, you a lot. Thank you for coming out to the yes, sir. podcast, man. Hey, dog. Hey, keep killing it, all right? All right, yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. <laughs>